everybody and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet channel. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to crochet these absolutely amazing granny squares. As you can see I've got a few made up here. So they're absolutely gorgeous. You can see that they are a few rounds to go each and you get something that looks like this at the end. Now you can do them all in the one colour or you can use a variegated yarn like I have done here or you can change colour each round, it is completely up to you. This is how mine are looking and I've been using the James C. Brett Driftwood DK and this is shade DW05. So this yarn is beautiful, it's really soft and silky to use and it's these gorgeous blues, whites and greens. So we're just going to go straight in with the tutorial. So starting with your slip knot on your hook we're going to do a chain of five. So one, two, three, four, and five. We then want to slip stitch to form a ring. So you'll insert your hook into that first chain and then slip stitch. So yarn over and pull through both of those loops. So we're going to chain two and that is going to count as our first treble. So do remember I'm using UK terms. So that's my UK treble in the US these will be your double. So that's going to count as one. You then want to do 15 more because we want a total of 16 UK trebles. So yarn over into your centre circle, yarn over and pull up, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two. That's, so we've now got two in there, another yarn over back in the centre circle, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two, so that's three. So you want a total of 16. So once you've got your 16, just double check, just give them a quick count. We're then going to slip stitch into the first proper treble that we did. So we're going to skip the chain two and we're going to slip stitch into the top of this first proper treble. So skip that chain and insert through the hole of the top of that first treble and slip stitch. I just find that that's a neater join than joining to the top of the chain two. However, that does still count as a stitch when we work our next round. So that is our first round of trebles. We're then going to be doing this second round, which is doing um, treble cluster stitches. So we're going to chain two. So this first stitch is always different than the rest because obviously it's very tricky to start a, a normal cluster stitch with a chain. So we're going to chain two and then into that same stitch you're going to put another treble. Okay so just ignore that one because that's different and then into this next stitch we will start our double crochet two together. So you will yarn over, insert into your next stitch, yarn over and pull up, yarn over pull through two and stop there. You'll then yarn over Go back into that same stitch, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through all three loops, and then chain one. And then you'll do the next stitch in the exact same way. So yarn over into your next stitch, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go back into the stitch, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over pull through all three and chain one and you will do your two double so you will do your two treble crochet two together all the way around until you have got 16 sets including that first funny one from the beginning. So I've currently got 15 and I've got this final stitch to work into. Make sure you do your final chain one and then we're going to slip stitch to the chain one space after that first stitch. So you're going to skip this first group of stitches and you're going to insert your hook into that first chain one space and slip stitch. Okay, so that is how you should look at this point. We're now going to work on our third round, which is our three treble crochet clusters. So you'll chain two and then into this same chain one space you'll yarn over 
and insert, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, back into that chain one space, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through all three. Again, this first one is different to all the others. You then want to chain two this time. And then again, into the next chain one space, so you'll skip that two treble crochet together from the previous round and you'll go into your next chain one space. You'll yarn over and insert, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, back into the chain one, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, one more time, yarn over and insert, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all four and then chain two and then again you'll do the exact same in your next chain one space. Don't do it Olive. Don't do it. Make sure you do your chain two. Sorry about that, the cat's literally sat on the table glaring at my yarn like she's about to pounce. <laughs> she's such a nuisance. Anyway, so you will work that all the way round. So into every chain one space you will do your three treble crochet cluster separated by a chain two and again you will have 16 of these and if you don't then you might just need to count back your last row <laughs> okay so if you work that all the way around so once you've done your final cluster you need to make sure you do your very last chain two and then again we're going to skip this whole first stitch and we're going to slip stitch into this first chain two space Okay, don't worry if it curls up slightly, it will flatten out as we go. So now we're going to move on to our final petal round, which is our five treble crochet cluster. So you'll chain two, and then into this first chain two space, you'll do your five treble crochet cluster. So yarn over and insert, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, back in, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, and one more time, yarn over, back in, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through all five of those loops, and chain three this time. And then again, into your next chain two space, you'll do your first proper cluster. So obviously again that first one was a little bit different. So into this chain two you'll yarn over and insert, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, back in, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, back in, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, that's three, and again four, and one more time, five, and you'll have six loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through them all, and chain three. I'll just show you that five treble crochet cluster one more time. So yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, so that's one, two, three, four, Five, and you should have six loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through them all, and a chain three. So if you continue that all the way around. So I'm ready now to slip stitch into that first chain three. So I shall slip stitch as normal. Again, don't worry if it curls up, it will flatten out with this final round. So this now is our very last round where we are going to square off. So we're going to do a chain of three. And that is going to count as our first UK double treble. In the US these are simply your trebles. And then you want to yarn over two times and you're going to go back into that same space. Yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And again, yarn over twice and insert, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. You then want to chain three for your corner 
and then back into this very same chain three space where we were just working, you're going to do three more double trebles. So yarn over twice and back in. So that's one. Two. And three. So that's our first corner. Chain one. And we're now going to work along our straight edge. So into your next chain three space, you will put three trebles. So that's UK trebles, US doubles. So that's one, two, and three. Chain one. So into this one, you'll do three half trebles or half doubles. So yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through all three loops. That's one. Again, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through all three. That's two. And three. Chain one. And then three normal trebles again. One. Two. Three, chain one and then we want to create another corner so you'll have three double trebles chain three three double trebles all into this next all into this next chain three space okay so double trebles so that's one two And three, chain three, and three more. Chain one, and then again you're going to work your next straight side. So you'll do chain one, and then you'll have three trebles, chain one, three half trebles, chain one, three trebles, so you go bigger stitches, smaller stitches, bigger stitches, even bigger stitches for your corner. So if you continue that all the way around, so you'll be finishing on your trebles, do your final chain one and then you're ready to slip stitch to the top of that chain three from the beginning of the round. And then you're all done, so you can chain one. Snip off and then just pull that tail out and tighten up. So that is how your granny square should look. It should have flattened out a little now as well. If it does still ping up at the corners, um, obviously that would settle once you were joining your squares. So obviously if you're joining, as you join them together, it would pull all those corners down anyway. Now there are lots of methods to use when joining your granny squares so I will leave links in the description for some of my favourites. But that is it for this tutorial, I really do hope that you have enjoyed this one. If you have please remember to like it and leave me a comment and also share with anyone that you think might like it. But thank you as always for watching and bye for now.